On a bright and sunny evening, Down entertain a packed house where the supporters of the Mourn men show their applause not for Sunday's All-Ireland semi-finalists, but the heroes of the 1990s. Their figures and hairlines may have changed just a little as Down welcomed the 2002 All-Ireland champions Armagh, plus a few former players from a year or two previous. A day for old rivals to have a bit of fun and perhaps a change of attire. Pete McGrath and Joe Kernan have six Ulster Championships and three All-Irelands between them. Mickey Linden still showing he can pick out a pass down, rolling back the years and playing like the famous sides of 1991 and All-Ireland champions in 1994. Benny Tierney was keen to show why he should have played further out the field on the 2002 All-Ireland winning side and perhaps a future pantomime role in Winnie the Pooh as Tigger. Big Tigger. After that stressful run, a stretch was needed, but Tigger Tierney was not great form. A lot of the 2002 guys getting together. A couple of 2002 guys are going to be in action against Down next week. What do you make of Geezer as a manager and Aidan O'Rourke as assistant? Well, uh, you know, obviously they lack the creativity that I give them when I was playing with Armand and stuff like that there. But here, Kildare is good. Hold on, I'm about to save a shot here. Uh, Kildare, if anybody's as good a chance as anybody, and with Geezer and Aidan O'Rourke in control, I would say there's more than a 50 50 chance. Talk us through that one. It was a flying save. They used to call me the cat. Life like <laughs> same qualities as a cat. Now they call me the flying pig. <laughs> Kieran McGinney, um, what do you think of him as a manager? And did you always see him as a future manager? Oh, I think so, yeah. You know, people are constantly referring to him as akin to Roy Keane. Well, I'd say he's better than that. He brings more qualities. You know, he's a player's man, ultimately. Kildare beginning to show the Saints, after three years of hard work, they've got to three quarter finals or two quarter finals and then a semi final now. And tell you what, rate them off with your pearl, I'm serious. Do you think they can go all the way? Or obviously, down to represent an Ulster and look very impressive against Kerry, but do you think Kildare are the team to beat? I think so. I think so. They're playing a better football in the last 20 minutes, which is the key, the key time in any match, you know. Another brilliant save. I'll put these together on a DVD later on. <laughs> he's also brought in Aidan O'Rourke. What is Aidan at? Oh, Aidan's a very yeah, canny manager. You know, he's involved with Queens and the one of Sigerson. You know, so he's, he's got the experience now too. And, you know, he's fresh blood as well. He's freshening the thing up. So, you know, Cork are ultimately the favourites. But I think if you're looking for a form team, Kildare are the form team. What do you make it down? I think down have been brilliant. You know, tipped them all year. I didn't think they'd get as far as they have done, but I knew they'd take a scalp. Uh, and if they keep going the way they're going, it could be a great match. Here, Mickey Linden again. Keep him out, JP, out! Out, JP, out! Watch your back! But it's still goes over for a point for Peter Whitlam. We've just managed to get the best three or four minutes of your career. <laughs> Some people said that was my career. <laughs> oh, and I'll be sore tomorrow. All for a good cause though today. Yeah, yeah, and it's great to see uh, the likes of Neil Smith, Martin McQuillan, boys who, who didn't get their just desserts when they were playing for Armagh, finished a year or two before we went on a good run, you know. So it's great to see boys like that there coming out and get a wee bit of recognition that they thoroughly deserve it. There's all this talk about nostalgia with Down, given the fact 1960, 91, 94. Does that matter when you're football and you're going out to play a game? I don't know. I think you know those down boys are here today, and also here we're here for this crack, and I'd say it could be a night's crack as well before the before we all get to bed. It could be tomorrow, you know. But as long as you're contributing to charity and you get a chance to see Ross Carr and these boys, they're all great crack. You'll probably fight later on. I'm sure in the Canal Court or somewhere. <laughs> it's all for charity. <laughs> Object today was just. Make Benny Tilly feel good, you know. Don't put any goals in against him, and so far it's worked, you know. So I'll probably maybe change that tactic in the second half and hope we'll put one past him. <laughs> Benny told us a completely different story. Oh, is it? Uh, well, that's typical of him, you know. Yeah.